Good morning. Today, our stock is Coco Land Holdings. M Investment Bank Research initiated coverage on the counter with a buy call and fair value of one ringgit thirty-seven. Coco Land last traded at one ringgit twenty-three. So, according to M Investment, with a sixteen-year profitability streak since its listing in two thousand and five, demand for Coco Land's products has stood the test of time. The robust demand is mainly due to the group's strong in-house brand presence in the confectionery market. Thanks to years of brand building, now following the easing of movement restrictions, Coco Land's top line and bottom line have jumped, and the research house expects the group to continue benefiting from the normalisation of demand, especially from the export segment. At the moment, Coco Land trades at an attractive ex cash FY22 PE of 14 times versus the KL Consumer Product Index's 12 month forward PE of 20 times, Power Roots 31 times, and QL Resources. Sources 57 times. M Investment says this is unjustified given its strong earnings recovery projections for the company. It forecast a three-year net profit CAGR of 24% to 42.1 million ringgit in 2024, on the back of a three-year revenue CAGR of 10%. It also expects Coco Land to maintain an average dividend payout of 60%. This translates into decent DPS of 4 sen in 2022, 4.5 sen or 4.1 percent yield in 2023, and 5 sen or 4.6 percent yield in 2024. So what's the consensus? According to Bloomberg, only two other research houses cover Coco Land: Inter Pacific with a neutral call and target price of 1 ringgit 8 sen, and Cuff Equities with a sell and target price of 85 sen. So that would be one buy, one hold, and one sell. Average target price one ringgit ten sen. That's about 10.6 percent lower than Coco Land's last closing price of one ringgit twenty-three.